Chris here from anabolicmen.com where we bring you 100% research backed advice uh, to help with your men's health, to help, help with your, uh, your hormonal health. Now today is actually a, a cool subject, this is going to be a good one because uh, we're going to talk about basically forming a testosterone boosting nutrition plan on a, on a strict budget because not everyone, well life is a lot easier when you have money. Uh, not everyone's in the situation where they can afford to just you know buy a bunch of supplements or or go and, and buy the best foods everywhere. I remember back uh, both Ali and myself have been through periods of time where we were extremely broke basically. So um, it helped to learn how to when going through that period of time to learn how to eat based on principles because you can even if you're pretty broke you can still eat a, a testosterone friendly diet uh, with a couple quick hacks without having to eat the shittiest food in the grocery store. Uh, the first thing in mind is, is you know, know your budget, know what you can work with, and then I'm going to give you some tips here on, on what you should focus on and what you should uh, get away from. But the, the, the simplest principle to stand by over, over everything else, we'll, we'll get into talking about different sources of proteins, fats, and carbs that you should eat that are budget friendly. But the simplest principle in this entire situation is, is to, to focus on simplicity. In general, just if you and, it, and it's good with guys. Like I know personally, I could eat the same thing every single day, and I really don't get tired of it. And I know a lot of other guy friends who are the same way. And everyone always jokes that that chicks are the opposite, women are the opposite, because women, you know, anytime I go out with a girl somewhere, you know, she's like, I, I always want to go to the same places, but she she's always like, oh, let's. Uh, we went there two weeks ago. We went there last month. Why would we go back? There? I'm like, are you kidding me? I go there every day. But anyway, it, so it's easier for guys to eat the same thing every day. So remember, focus on simplicity because while you're in this phase where, where you don't have a, a big budget to spend on food, simplicity is definitely your best friend and you can really make it work with, with these tips that I'm about to give you. So uh, first off, on, on the topic of organic foods versus uh, like factory farmed or, or uh, non-organic foods, Obviously, it, I, I really do, and we, we both, Ali and I both think that it is better if you can get something fresh, like if you get stuff at the farmer's market, if you get things from local farms that aren't mass, mass farms, because uh, there, there's a study, and we'll put this study up on the screen, some pesticides are actually anti-androgenic, and now that's not really one of the reasons that a lot of other people give for, for eating organic, but uh, the, the chemical pesticides that people use, or that these big farms use on their, on their crops, are anti-androgenic. So uh, by eating as, as organic or as local as possible, you'll be cutting down on your exposure to those chemicals. Now, is that always realistic? Probably not, but just, just understand that and you can make good choices on, on which you know, produce you're getting. So as long as it's within your budget. So the first thing, let's, let's talk about protein. So protein, just this one is, is uh, keep it simple, very simple. Uh, animal protein is where it's at. Because then you don't even have to go. You don't have to buy protein powders. Don't don't waste your money on that BS. Get animal protein. However, here's the problem: good beef, good beef from like pasture raised beef. It definitely tastes better, but it also costs probably twice as much as as uh, the regular commercial beef, right? Uh, part of the issue, though, so so it's it's unrealistic to expect on a budget that you would be able to buy enough beef every week for you to get through the week uh, without starving. So. Uh, what we recommend, and this is a hack, and obviously this isn't great for forever, for your whole life, but if you're in this period where you need it, this hack should help. Basically, you want to go for, get, get the commercial ground beef, but get it as low fat as possible. Because the, the fats are really where you're going to have a lot of the issues with, with uh, the hormone treatments of these factory animals, these commercial grade animals and the commercial meat. So get as low fat as possible for these, uh, this ground beef. And what you can do is you can also use something like a Foreman grill, uh, which are very cheap, very, very uh, affordable. And I remember I've, I've had a Foreman grill since I was, a, uh, I think in high school. Um, I've, I've had Foreman grill forever and they're just super easy to cook, cook meat on. But what it does is it'll drain a lot of the fat off. So um, get, the, get the really lean ground beef and uh, you can cook it on something like a Foreman grill to drain the fat out because the fat is really what's going to hold a lot of the, the hormone, hormonal treatments and, and uh, the nasty stuff that you don't want. 
And what you can do is you use this as your protein source. So now you don't even need to eat that much protein. You don't need to eat as much as all the bodybuilding gurus will tell you. So this should be sufficient and a very affordable tactic to get the protein that you do need uh, from, from the animal source and then to get rid of the fat involved. And, and we'll talk about fat here in a second, uh, what you should focus on for fats, which we can talk about that right now. But uh, the, the trick is to basically use that as your protein source and then get your fats from, from other sources that are also affordable but much higher quality than the beef fat from the commercial beef. Now in terms of fat, you definitely want to emphasize around like a 30% in intake on, in terms of macros on good fat sources in your diet if you want to keep your diet testosterone friendly. And we'll show, you know, put up a study on the screen. We'll talk about it a lot in the Test Shock program in terms of like looking at different types of fats. But uh, to keep it simple in these principles, these budget friendly principles, focus on saturated fat and some monounsaturated fats. So saturated fats, uh, basically the, the, the easiest source to get sat good saturated fats from are things like coconut oil, where you, especially with coconut oil, you could buy a big container of it. Uh, and while it might seem like it's expensive, like getting a big container sometimes can be a little bit pricier, but it will last you a really long time. And in terms of economy and, and just the, the amount of fat that you're going to get in that container, you're going to get quite a bit. So it'll last you a while and you can use it for cooking and, and coconut oil, salt, and lean ground beef actually tastes really good. So if you have some sea salt on, on the beef. So you can get the fat and use it as the cooking oil to get the fats into the beef and so the beef doesn't taste like eating dry sand or whatever. Also eggs are a really good source of, eggs are something that, that are very budget friendly. You can get, actually get organic eggs for you know, a fraction of what it would cost to buy a bunch of really good beef, for example. So you know, for example, like the commercial eggs would be you know, two dollars. The organic eggs would be four dollars, three three fifty or four dollars, which still is barely. It's not that much. It's really worth springing for a couple things like the organic eggs. Get the good eggs. And what you could do a good a good another good example is if you were to cook, basically mix up all the ground beef in the eggs, and then cook it in the coconut oil, and or olive oil or something, uh, like with good monounsaturated fats. And uh, that, it actually tastes really good. Use some sea salt, you got yourself a meal right there, some spices. Also another thing, uh, macadamia nuts are great. They, they can be a bit on the pricey side, so, but, uh, so you'll wanna just uh, you know, consume a few of them a day and kind of ration it. Uh, but also, and this is a no-brainer in terms of saturated fat, is butter. Butter is freaking awesome. It makes everything taste good. Uh, and you can get high quality butter for very uh, low prices because butter is such a common thing. It's, it's not a commodity. It's not something that, that they can really jack the prices up on. So you can get some very good butter for, for very inexpensive and it'll last you a long time and you can use that as your fat source. So uh, now let's talk about carbs. Carbs are uh, probably my favorite <laughs> out of all these and carbs are very simple. So uh, one of the things is, is grains in general, a lot of grains are gonna be, like any grain that has the gluten in it, and we're not specifically anti-gluten on our stances or anything. We just want to bring you the evidence. And we'll show you this, this evidence right here up on the screen that gluten can raise prolactin levels. So if you're trying to have a, a testosterone-friendly diet, just, just going lower on the gluten side. Uh, just because you're on a budget doesn't mean you have, can eat or you necessarily want to go eat all these shitty processed foods, right? So just avoid the shitty processed foods with a lot of gluten in them because they... they Above everything else, they can raise prolactin levels, and they've been found to in humans. What we recommend is actually just something very simple uh, like potatoes. So you can, get, you can get a big bag full of potatoes for next to nothing, and they'll, they'll last you a long time. Plus, potatoes are very filling and uh, have, have, are a great starch source to, to really fuel your training. They also grow underground, so a lot of times you, you're going to have less exposure even on the, the factory farm, the commercial farm, potatoes, you're going to have less exposure to the anti-androgenic pesticides that they use for a lot of the above ground crops. So potatoes are a really good option. They're dirt cheap. Uh, and really, if you think about it, this diet is not all that bad for the guy who can eat a similar thing every day uh, because it really is just steak and potatoes. It's in butter. It's a freaking good diet. It'll keep you full. You're not going to be starving. And uh, that's what it is. And there's a couple, in terms of veggies, uh, some, some tea-friendly veggies that you could have that are cheap are onions, uh, parsley, garlic, and, uh, you know, some greens. 
and you could even you know if you have some a little like a yard you could you could plant a little garden and do you know get your greens from the garden and that so it, and that's a very cheap way to get high quality greens but yeah so that just to wrap it up those are that that hopefully helped you some of the guys that that you guys are on a on a budget and you you think like oh i have to go buy all this fancy food and and fancy supplements and stuff uh you don't really that that stuff's just the icing on the cake but if you can keep things simple if, if you can eat similar things every single day and you don't need a lot of variety uh, sticking to these principles in terms of which carbs fats and protein to eat and then avoiding certain things like the the trap with you know getting beef that has a lot of uh, you know like commercial beef with a high fat content just avoiding that sort of thing and then uh, being more being smarter about the types of foods you eat then you can actually eat a, a very testosterone friendly diet on a strict budget so if you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.